How to make penicillin. When the world is dead, the clinics are ash, and your leg is swelling like a balloon full of pus. The cities are silent. Pharmacies are empty, except for dust and teeth marks. You cut yourself on rusted metal, and now infection is playing Russian roulette in your bloodstream. Antibiotics, extinct. Doctors, eaten. Solution, mold. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that used to ruin sandwiches. Start by finding bread that's gone full science project. Blue-green fuzz, not black slime. Unless you like funeral speed runs. Dunk it in whatever boiled water you can muster. Let it stew in a jar, somewhere dark, like a cave, or your soul. Wait days, weeks. Don't rush it. Infection might kill you first, but hey, science takes time. Now strain the swamp juice through cloth, a sock, your ex's shirt. What drips out isn't pretty, but it's penicillin broth. Microscopic soldiers bred from decay. The mold makes it, the liquid carries it. Don't inject it. You're not a mad scientist. You're just desperate. Drink it, dab it, pray. Why does it work? Because penicillium mold hates bacteria more than you hate canned beans. It kills them off before they kill you. If your fever breaks, congrats. You cheated infection with fungus tea. If not, well, the mold gets the last laugh. No antibiotics? No problem. Just bread, rot, and the will to crawl another day.